when retail started, it was a marketplace. You, know, you came in because of location, proximity to your house. Um, it was, they were selling commodities, but it was personal. You went to the market to a particular proprietor because he knew you, knew your preferences, and there was a sense of uh, personal exchange. Over time, we've seen that retail kind of moved away from that because it was more based on geographic coverage, location, and then it kind of went a little bit more to be promotion driven, and we lost a little bit of that personal touch. I think we're going full circle, where both the retailer and the consumer are looking for that sense of personal link. And it's not going to be necessarily going to be driven by the proprietor, but it's going to be enabled through technology, providing the right data to the retailer so they know who you are. The main objective is, is as a shopper, you want to go even to a big store, make it feel small. You want to go to a place where traditionally you're one of every other customer. You want a personal service. You want to have information that is relevant to you. You want the person on the other side of the table be able to recognize you as a consumer, understand your needs, understand your wants, understand your, your, your shopping habits, and be able to react to you and offer information that is relevant to you. And I think that retailers are recognizing more and more that the experience in the shopping element or path to purchase is becoming more important. In the past, there might be an element of price competition, or maybe it was location. Everyone always said location, location, location. But in this day and age, uh, a consumer can get anything they want, anytime they want, anywhere they want. And really, what retailers are recognizing is that it becomes that consistent shopping experience, that, that element of service and ability to provide the consumer what they want as far as information uh, that becomes even more important. The big trend that we see uh, that we're actually uh, working with our customers to develop is, is a radical shift of the division between the knowledge working retail and the task working retail. We see that line completely disappearing. Every retail employee will become a knowledge worker. What do I mean by that? As long as you can put the right information in their hands to be able to make the quick decisions and really react as counterintuitive as that sounds, react to what your business needs in the moment, you'll make better decisions. Your, your employees will be more productive and, by your, and your customers will be significantly happier. The retail store is not going away. Many shoppers, I would say most shoppers, view the retail environment, physical environment, as central to the shopping experience. What's changing is the expectations of what that shopping experience should look like and feel like from the consumer point of view. So as technology providers and as retailers, we just need to step back and look at the expectations from the customer's point of view. What do you and I expect that journey to look like? And if we do that, it's going to be a blend of store design and merchandising and experiences that are, that are technology enabled.